Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the weekly Vendasta webinar. Uh, just a reminder that anything you want to know about upcoming webinar sessions, topics, as well as registering for those next webinars, you can find at vendasta.com slash webinars. I am your host today, Janessa Yeomans. I am the demand manager for our marketplace, and we are here today to talk about how to sell ping up bookable. Before we get in that, just a reminder, Marketplace is your single source of truth for all products that Vendasta offers. The Marketplace team works hard to bring together the best solutions and the best rates for you, our partners. So if you're wondering where the Marketplace is, it lives right here in Partner Center and is, av is available for all of your admin users to access. If this doesn't look familiar to anybody here, definitely let's just let me know and I can help you out. And remember, every Marketplace product is a new revenue stream for your agency or for your company to offer. Uh, just a quick housekeeping item, item. As usual, we will have a live question and answer session at the end. So if you think of any questions during this presentation, please type them into the chat box and they will be answered towards the end of the session. So now for it, let's talk about how to sell ping up bookable. And joining me on the line to help with that topic is Justin Taylor, the Vice President of Sales at Ping Up. Hi, Justin. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Why don't we, you know, start off this great session and you tell um, all the attendees a little bit about yourself. Um, sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm one of the founding team here at Ping Up. We've been in existence for around five and a half years, going on six. Um, we are. We started as a chat to business play, and now we have worked into um, this bookable product amongst. Uh, through our partnerships with um, publishers, search engines, et cetera. It's going really well. Um, I'm really excited to talk about uh, the product and how we can help uh, add this on to uh, your sales. Perfect. So let's just jump right into it and talk a little bit more about what is Ping Up Bookable. Uh, so to start, we actually were going to take you through just a quick video on what Ping Up Bookable is, just because it's a really great video. You might and have heard that eighty percent of customers search online first to find a business. But did you know that more than a third of them want to book instantly? If customers can't book with you instantly, you're wasting valuable traffic and losing business. PingUp solves this problem by adding a book now or make appointment button to your online business listing. So now, when customers search for you, PingUp's booking button appears, allowing customers to book with you instantly. Plus, this is not just for search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. It can appear on Yellow Pages, Facebook, Super Pages, and more. And when customers click Book Now, they'll see an optimized booking experience, custom tailored for your business. Customers select what they need and when they want it, all in a few seconds. Finally, when customers submit a request, you get an email or text message with the details. It's that simple. Hang up. Your business, bookable anytime, everywhere. So there we go. Like I said, just a quick video, but it really represents exactly what this amazing product is. Um, so let's get into a little bit more about Ping Up. I know you touched on this just a little bit, Justin, but can you tell us a little bit more about the company? Yeah, we're really just trying to shorten the distance between a consumer and business. We know that nowadays with mobile phones and busy lifestyles, uh, consumers, when they go to make an appointment, it's usually after hours or um, not when a, a business is open. So we want to make, we want to extend that time period where a consumer is able to book, as well as allowing those businesses to be able to take those appointments in real time um, after hours. Um, you know, there's a lot of businesses out there that do online booking, um, what we feel is a lightweight approach um, and helps with distribution, what Ping Up helps these businesses do is grow their business rather than just kind of run a back office calendar. We all know that um, these small businesses run um, some sort of calendaring system. They either use a pen and paper or they use um, iCalendar 
calendar or Google calendar or some other booking system for their back office software. And we feel like we really kind of um, sit right on top of that and help expand the reach that consumers can find um, a business and be able to book a service. Um, and we know that, you know, when a, a customer goes and starts their search for um, a business, they usually start at a search engine or they're on social media and they're asking friends and they'll find um, the page there. So giving them the ability to book directly from there rather than having to click on a website. And most of the time they're on a mobile phone. And, you know, we all know that these SMBs, not all of them have very good mobile optimized websites and you have to do a lot of pinching and pulling to kind of find the right thing to book an appointment or click to call. So we really feel like that our product is mobile optimized, helps shorten the distance and is very easy and quick for a customer to use as well as like for a business. It's just another way of that phone ringing. I mean, that's how they want, the, they, you know, everybody needs more business and they want to be able to attract that and they want it as fast as possible and they want to have it uh, allow at any point in time. And that's what we really feel like ping up does. That's, that's amazing. Thank you for, you know, talking about that a little bit. I know that kind of explains right there, even before we get into the next section, which is how to sell ping up bookable. You really just hit it on the head already, but we'll keep going through because <laughs> I'm sure you've got other really great stuff for us to make everyone even realize even more why they should or how they should be selling ping up bookable. So just, you know, let's start by explaining the really basics of it. How does Ping Up Bookable work? You know, as Justin just talked about, it's a booking button that's created for organic search business listings. When a consumer clicks on that button, they're taken to an optimized booking page created by Ping Up. Uh, so that page is where an appointment request is made. And then from there, the business owner has the option of receiving that booking request, uh, both through email or text message. So they can then confirm them. And so now Justin's just going to take us through some examples of it in action. Sure, yeah. Um, we all know that most of these businesses that you're working with have some sort of listing on, search, on, on a search engine or have a Facebook or Instagram page, et cetera. Um, so we work with Google, Yahoo, Facebook, City Search, Super Pages, YP, and Bing um, for the most part. And through our partnership, we're able to place booking or make a request, make an appointment request buttons on these sites. So let me just make sure you're on the right page here. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's, this is an example of a Facebook integration here. You can see where that arrow is pointing. That's the book now button there. And as we're moving on, this is an example of what it looks like on the right rail in Bing. So when you do a search for, you know, this is for a, a CPA in Falls Church, Washington, you can see that that booking button shows up in gray over there on the right hand rail with the, all the other things that gives you, you know, information about that business. It really is a call to action, uh, a big transaction button on Bing. And the next example is on Yahoo. It's very similar to the Bing layout. Um, there you see uh, the appointment button next to the website directions and call. So, you know, if you're looking to do something quickly, that's, that's gonna be where you're gonna click. Um, YP as well, um, we have a make an appointment button that, search, that shows up directly in the SERP, um, the search engine results page. So uh, that's a, a really great place to have those things for um, on our search engines and social media but we also provide a URL to our booking widget and it's not just that button in search you can tell your these businesses that they can provide this URL in an email they can put it on their um, signature within their email they could send it out an email campaign they could put it on a social media post they could place this URL in an Instagram post and I'll put a, a feature for um, you know a new service that they're offering and have people book directly from there. So it's something that can be shared um, well outside of the social media and search sites. That's, that's really great and really gives us some great examples of how it appears on those search sites as well as how they, you know, those businesses can use it in other areas. Um, so just how quick is it and, you know, to get it set up, is it a long process? What do, what do we kind of expect from that? Sure, on the initial um, sale or sign up, they receive a, an email 
from us within 24 hours that will provide them um, their Facebook, Google, and website booking link. That's the link that I previously talked to, the one that they can share anywhere. And there's a few um, different little steps that they have to go to through to get their button on Facebook and Google, and we have all that information that's sent through the instructions in those emails. And then, um, from, then it can take up to two weeks for our publishers to post that booking button on those search um, sites on the search engine results. And that's just a part of the process where we have to do an ingestion with our partners. So there's a little bit of lag time as in there, but you know they can immediately start using the product by sharing that URL, that booking link right away. Well, within 24 hours, I should say. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's, that's really quick for them to start, you know, get something that they can start using right away. Yeah. Perfect. So why don't we talk, walk through how easy the booking process is. So again, the booking process, this is going to be any consumers coming to your client's website and how easy it, it is for them to use. Yep. So this is another example of the Bing booking process. Here you can see, you know, someone has searched for a lead salon. And as you can see, see this salon shows up and on the right side of the right rail of this page is the booking button. So the customer would click on that booking button. And that would bring up what we call a co-branded publisher experience or um, an optimized booking experience. So the consumer still feels as though they're inside the walls of Bing. Um, it's, it's labeled and logoed with the Bing color colors and flow, has uh, business information and uh, map and all of the services that are customizable to that business. So a customer would then choose that service there and then would move on to picking a time. Let me just make sure I'm on the right. Yeah, I'm picking a calendar time and then filling in uh, the appropriate information that that business requests. So name, address, email, phone number. And from there, the business would then receive either an email or a text message, depending on how they choose to receive these notifications um, immediately. And so someone could be sitting on their couch after a long day of cutting hair and relaxing and get a new customer notification um, while they're not at work. So it's a good thing. That's awesome. Um, so from there, why don't we just jump into a little bit more of the facts and figures and what we need to know so we can take this to our local market. Yeah, so we've we, we've currently done about a few hundred thousand transactions um, through our search engine partners and bookings through um, these uh, searches and um, through customer searches. And this is kind of, if you look on this, uh, this slide here, I'm just making sure we're on the right slide here. Uh, um, with the consumer insight, this was we did this with a third party, and about we just wanted to test how, uh, where people's eyes go on the page. And if you can see here, almost seventy percent of the clicks on the go to that booking button. Um, there's really they 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 draw to a transaction. They draw to being able to take an action. So we're really happy with that, and we really feel like that's really one of the desirable things about ping up and uh, can really help uh, these small businesses attract more business. Okay. Perfect. And then it really gets into, you know, we, we looked at that, and that heat map shows us exactly where consumers go, and it really talks about the convenience or why businesses need to be bookable from search. Yeah, I mean, this is big, big numbers here. I mean, 80% of consumers search local businesses and 30% want to book a service, you know, and this happens after hours, you know, as I had mentioned before. And, you know, in a recent study, you know, 25% of millennials will only book online, which is a pretty big number. Yeah. And it's only increasing. Okay, I've got to say, I fall into that 25%. I, I do not like calling a business. I would rather do it online. Yeah. You know, nobody call and get placed on hold right away. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It really gets into this, you know, you need to be able to be bookable 24 hours, seven days a week. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, again, getting into the 24 seven is really, really a big part of, you know, what we're trying to push here and allow these businesses to be bookable. Um, there's a few um, strong verticals that we've seen in the past six months in um, selling this in-house. 
um, professional services, uh, so accountants, CPAs, um, uh, home services, plumbers, uh, roofers, flooring, any type of home service, like a uh, handyman, uh, movers, uh, it runs a gamut. And then as well as like health and beauty, massage, um, you know, nail salons, uh, any type of uh, spa service and then financial services. So um, financial planners, uh, mortgage brokers, etc. And I just kind of wanted to run into a few th uh, talking points that I think that we've seen that kind of help with these uh, certain verticals. And I'll talk about health and beauty um, because this is, you know, it's a very large category and there are a lot of businesses out there that are trying to gain as many appointments as they possibly can. So one of the big things about Ping Up is, is that you're able to have six people notified of a new appointment request. So some uh, salons and spas really kind of rent out their chairs. So you could have up to six different people get notified of that new customer and you know each depending on who answers first I, you know it, it all depends on how they set up their back office but they they all would never miss that new opportunity um and it says six there and that's just because we allow three um business on the business side we, we allow three people to get either the email or in three people to get the text so i just it's six total but if you, you know it, it's not six that get text, it's not six that get email, it's three and three. So just wanted to clarify that. Um, and then also, you know, most uh, health and beauty salons, they have, you know, when you go, I know I do, I've been going to the same barber now for seven years and I wouldn't go to anyone else because I don't trust anyone with my fabulous uh, mane of gray hair. But, uh, you know, so stylist option is is really nice and that's one of the things that you that is on the the checkout as well as uh you know 42 percent of requests are made after hours i mean again i keep kind of coming back to this but you know that's a, that's a huge thing for these businesses is that you know when they're cutting hair and a lot of these are owner operated they're not able to get to the phone and i challenge anyone actually to call health and beauty and not get put on hold um so them being able to take those requests after hours is really a big part of it. And, um, you know, again, like and getting back to this, and, and this is a little bit add on of the health and beauty. Like I said, my, I'm, I'm with my barber now for seven years and the, my previous one, I was there for, you know, 10. So, you know, the lifetime value of a new customer, especially in these types of industries like health and beauty, where it's very personalized industry, where, you know, you're going in and they're affecting how you look and feel for the rest of the day, for the rest of the month or what, whatever. So when you get a new customer and they bring it in, you know, that lifetime value for our, the cost of our service, you know, one customer easily pays for the service for the month. And I'll get into that again as well as, you know, when we talk about home services, we all know that, you know, the cost of home services can run anywhere from, you know, fixing a leaky drain to, you know, a whole new roof. So um, there's a, a big potential of uh, a massive windfall for home services. And the other thing about home service professionals is that a lot of them are, are, are you know, solo shops and they're walking around and they're using their phone as their appointment book and they're out in the field. Um, there's been numerous times where we've been on phone calls and calling into these uh, businesses and the guy's like, oh, could you call me back? I'm actually on the roof. So him being able to simply get a text message that says, you know, with all the information and then he can get off the roof and call that person back rather than not being able to take the call because he's hammering nails or something is, is a big part of it. Um, it's allowing them to get that information and have it on, on hand very quickly. Um, and then, you know, another part of home services is there's a lot of different lead generating companies out there, you know, Thumbtack, um, Home Advisor, uh, Home U, Service Titan, et cetera, just to name a few. And they really kind of allow a consumer to go in and request a quote or, you know, they put in, you know, what they need to have done. And then they farm that lead out to, you know, a certain amount of home professionals in the area. And that home service professional actually never gets the name of the actual customer that really kind of wants to do business with you. They don't get that until they've actually been accepted, that quote's been accepted. And those leads can cost a lot of money for those home service professionals so with our service that customer is that we're providing that customer directly to 
that home service provider. So it's it's really providing them not with just like a lead quote, but it's providing them with that customer. So we really feel like that. It's a big win in the home services category. Um, and again, as I had said, you know, the lifetime value, the cost of service, um, you know, you know, it, it's it could be upwards of, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars depending on the job. So, you know, at the price of ping up per month, um, it, it pays for itself and more. And uh, our service menu is a great place for, you know, home service prof professionals that actually dabble in other you know, there's electricians that could do some, you know, cabinet work. They could do um, home television setups. And so allowing them to put those service offerings within our widget um, just shows the, the consumer that, you know, even though it says, you know, Jay's electronics or Jay's, Jay's electrician, you know, he can do these other uh, professional services. And uh, so that's an another really nice talking point to home services and um, another one where we're really seeing we're making hay and right now as accountants and CPAs you know tax seasons right now so it's really hot uh, they're very busy they're um, taking in um, new customers and they're not able to handle them so being able to uh, have allow the booking and have consumers you know search taxes and be able to book online is is, is a big thing for them and they get the ROI pretty much immediately um, you know, unless it's a really just a simple, uh, I'd like to say, um, if you're actually using an accountant, um, you you don't mind uh, paying the extra, the fees, because it's going to save you uh, a lot of money in the long run. You know, if someone's just doing a 1040 easy, then, you know, they don't need an accountant. Um, so, and again, that's, it's another thing for them to change that service. So tax seasons now, but they could get in, into, they could be a notary, they could be doing audits, they could be doing um, assessments, um, other things that they can showcase their business at um, after the tax season as well. And, you know, and, and I keep getting back to the, the return on investment for these businesses, you know, at $25 a month, it's, it's really an inexpensive, inexpensive product. Yeah, and that right there gets right into the offer. You know, everyone on the line, you do get Ping Up Bookable available for $25 a month. And again, you know, it is a month to month option. So it gives you the ability to try out the product with no long term obligations. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a great thing for a lot of these small businesses, especially, you know, they don't want to do a big, long commitment. I mean, some of, um, the things that uh, they're buying online, you know, they get, you know, sold into products that are, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars of a month. And here they can actually use it. And, you know, if it's not working for them, they can shut it down. But I would say they should never do that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So from there, we're actually just going to jump into, oh, we're going to go through some FAQs before we get to everyone's questions here. Um, so just some of the, you know, those quick questions that we're asked all the time. Uh, can this booking page show prices for the different services? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, totally. A booking page can include name of service and price, and that's optional. They don't have to include a price. Awesome. Um, does it look good on mobile? I, yeah, again, like I was saying. <laughs> what's that? I was going to say, I think you touched it on this one already, that you talked about how great it is on mobile, and you know, it does help that whole process yeah and the next slide actually it kind of gives it shows you know this is a uh, um, another one uh, this is a mobile optimized this is what our mobile optimized booking flow looks like so you can get an idea of that which is so you can see it's nice big big buttons you know me with sausage fingers you know you can get through the screen real quick um, and I know you talked on this a little bit those ideal businesses for ping up bookable uh, I think we just kind of touched on those, the home services, the health and beauty, the accounting. Any other ones that you would add in there? Yeah, I mean, definitely like uh, pet services. We see like groomers, um, pet spas, um, and also like movers and delivery companies, et cetera. Like um, somebody that, you know, there's a lot of bit small businesses out there that do uh, small deliveries for like Craigslist list buying. And so those are some of the ones that we're seeing. A lot of handymen, um, again, that falls into the home services. Perfect. Um, and 
you know, just going through this one again, how many people at the business can receive those appointment notifications? Yeah, so like I said, up to three different email addresses or three different mobile numbers and you can, so if you had six people total, you know, three could get emails, three could get text message, or if you just had three, then you could all both get them each way. Or if you just choose to get it through text message, you can just do that or just by email. Sounds good. And is there support? Absolutely, there is. Um, you can reach out, you know, we've got the ping up dot com customer success at ping up dot com as well as all of this information is in the product tab in marketplace so don't worry about having to write it all down right now you can find this as well as some other great faqs in that product tab in marketplace and now we're just going to open it up to everyone's questions on the line all right so we do have a couple people asking for these slides I, we do have them available. I'm just gonna throw them in the handout section. So you should be getting them shortly and they'll be available to everyone on the line to grab from there. All right, let's go through some of these other questions. Um, so someone is just asking a little bit about the branding of the emails. When they come through, are they branded ping up? And is it possible to change that if the agency would like to? Uh, currently, they're branded as ping up, yes. And we actually um, had that question come through actually not too long ago. So I don't have an exact answer. I don't think it's something that would be difficult for us to do, but I don't have uh, any answer for you of whether or not that I can just say that's not available right now, mm -hmm. but that's definitely something that we can add to the product roadmap. Yeah, absolutely. Um, going along with that, Justin, when they're going through the booking process, does it show ping up well as they're going through that process? It depends on um, what site they've started from. So if it's on Facebook or Google, then it's through uh, the ping it ping up booking widget. Um, if it's on Bing, Yahoo, or um, City Search or Super Pages, um, then it is co-branded as to look and have the feel of Yahoo or Bing. So it has the color pattern and uh, um, their logo up there. Perfect. It says powered by ping up. Um, and so we do, we have got a couple people asking just about the availability in other countries. Um, is it just available in the US? Is it worldwide? Where can we get clients signed up for? Sure. Um, right now, the URL can be shared worldwide. Um, the search engines that we work with are currently just US based, but the US, the URL that we provide with the booking widget, um, we, sh we have the capability to, to allow you to use that in other countries at this moment in time. But as far as listing partners go, we're currently in the US and we're on our way to Canada. Um, I'm pretty sure we're very close to Canada. Awesome. Or if not already on our way there. <laughs> as a Canadian, I like to hear that. <laughs> Um, so a few questions, if, if their clients already have other appointment systems, is there a way to sync this with them or would this potentially replace those other systems? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm having a little bit of internet uh, difficulty here. Could oh. you repeat that question? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there, we've got one person just wondering about, does this sync up with an other appointment um, booking systems, say if their client has one of those, or would it be something where you would want to replace those other systems? Well, it could work both uh, both ways. It could replace it depending on how simple of a, so of a, a software that you would want. Um, it can work additive as well to uh, booking software that you have as, uh, out there um, because of the fact that we are pushing uh, the availability to search and allowing the consumer to come in through, you know, 
those search and social sites. Whereas a lot of booking companies, they, they provide you a booking button, but it puts it on your website. So a customer has to get to your website first. Um, so you could still use that back office software booking engine, you know, because it's things with a calendar and you can use book up, ping up as well, because, you know, when that request comes in, it's it's the same thing as like someone just calling in with a request for over the phone. You would put it into your calendar the same exact way. Perfect. That I, hope that, I hope that answers. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense. Um, another question here. Uh, how are products or services updated and will all the search engines be updated? Yeah, so the we have a customer success team here and within the first a uh, few emails we request, you know, the service update, um, the service listings and prices, if you want to include those. And that's via email to our customer success team, which is available uh, pretty much all the time, um, I like to think. Excuse me. And uh, so, and once that update is made, then it usually takes within uh, an ingestion cycle, it, it could take anywhere from uh, 24 to 48 hours for that those listings to be updated on those search engines once it's published. Perfect. Um, just reading through. Uh, are the are the clients able to set what required information um, is required from customers in order to book appointments? So, yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, currently, it's set for name, phone number, email address, and I believe there's a few other fields. It's not completely customizable. Um, we do have. Um, I don't know the that that answer right now because the product is changing. There's there's a lot of different features that we're doing, but that that should be possible. Sounds good. Um, and then just talking about the consumer process. So someone comes and books. What kind of confirmation email or text message or message of any sort is sent back to the person requesting the appointment? So you, that the business would just respond to that uh, customer how they would if they were giving a, if they called or so if they wanted to respond via text they could do that if they wanted to re respond via email or give them a phone call. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. We went through this one just when we were talking, but just for clarification's sake, again, are customer customers able to request? per services and are they able to request particular technicians or stylists? Yeah, they, um, they can uh, select a stylist, yes. Perfect. And just to get back on the, uh, the question that was asked earlier, we, we can't uh, manipulate the fields um, as far as I just checked. <laughs> while I was on the, this. Um, so when uh, the, the, the checkout form is standardized at, at this moment in time, so we can't customize those fields. We cannot at this moment in time. Okay, sounds good. Um, just, uh, just, oh, one more. <laughs> uh, so someone just asking for clarification with how it would work with another appointment system. So Justin talked about that a little bit, and um, it's really, you think about it, and Justin, correct me if I'm wrong, but think about Ping Up Bookable as if someone's calling into your business. So it doesn't sync those appointments right into the other appointment system, but it's basically taking the place of your, you know, someone calling in. So, you know, as those requests are coming in, you would still have someone on your end who would get that request and confirm it and put it into that system. Is that, did I get that right, Justin? Yeah, yeah yes, yes you did. Perfect. Um, and so last question here, does this work on Safari? I'm assuming it works on all of the different internet um, browsers out there. It sure does. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So that is all of the questions. We got through them here. Um, so what are our next steps? Well, for everybody, we really recommend you go into Marketplace and enable Ping Up Bookable, add it to your store, as well as if you have any questions, reach out to your partner success manager.
Thank you very much for the time. Yeah, thank you so much for being on with us, Justin. Um, again, I'm Janessa Yeomans. If you have any questions, let us know. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Thanks again. Happy selling. <laughs>